Hi friends, it's Tim Schrock at Design Build Solutions. Today's Tech Tip Tuesday comes in from a client with a question about rooms specifically uh, and this wall. Uh, today's is going to have to be fast, so click like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you find this useful, uh, would you leave a small donation at paypal.me slash design build solutions. Uh, so the question came in that um, we've got, and I've mocked up the, the, the model very quickly. They, they've got this beautiful view out here and they want a lot of light out this back end and, and they want the bathroom in this space with a bedroom, I believe, over here. So here's, you know, the beautiful view at the, at the gable window. How do we get this wall? The, the initial thought was, well, let me back up here. Let me back up. Let me just back up a hot second. Okay, so we're going to build a wall like that. And let's just for sake of this do before, like we did before. Okay, how do we get this down here? I could select this uh, attic wall and delete it, and it becomes an invisible wall, but I've got a line there. I don't want that. Um, delete this wall again. Invisible walls always there. Yes, no, don't want that situation uh, because of these lines here. How do we get by with this? Uh, we could go down and open this up and say we're going to... Uh, balloon through ceiling above and then could we manually pull that wall down uh, let's try still got the line in the ceiling that's not gonna work okay so not working not working I know where we're going but uh, let's try drawing a railing wall opening this up, making it, I'm just doing this because I want to um, kind of walk you through the process, right? Railing wall, solid, uh, eight feet tall, and we're going to drop a door in here. The ceiling works great, oh, but I don't see a header over the door. That doesn't work. All right, what are we going to do with this? Open this up and uh, uncheck railing. That goes back to building that up, okay? Not working. Uh, we've got the wall cap in there. I'm going to delete the wall cap so we can do that. What's the other thing we can do? We're going to make that locate. What's the other thing we can do to make this not happen? We can make this a shelf ceiling. So the door header looks correct. To make it a shelf ceiling, you open this room. Come on. Oh, not next object, open object, there we go. Structure, shelf ceiling. All right, yeah, we're getting there, right? Let's move in here. And uh, we've got a cap on there. Just open up that room again and uncheck flat ceiling. Now, if you want, we can go back here and put that wall cap back on. And pick this, undo full wall width. We want uh, six inches wide, three quarter inch tall. You can paint that white if you want to match the trim. Or make it stone or whatever you like. There you go, shelf ceiling in this room under the structure panel, uncheck. When you click shelf ceiling, it automatically makes it a flat ceiling. Just uncheck that flat ceiling. And now you've got the, the settings. You can control the ceiling height by this if you want. Let's go six feet. Of course, that you're not going to do that, but uh, just demonstrates what you could do in the structure. Okay, so that could be seven feet. That could be seven foot nine. Nope. Where did I hit? Nine. There you go. Whatever height you want that controls the height of that. I hope this is helpful. If you like it, click like and subscribe. Leave a comment below. Have a great week. Take care.